morning dear students today i'm going to give you a small tip to understand mono hybrid technique proposed by the mandel in genetics inheritance or heredity both are similar terms in which characters are transferred from parents to offspring mandel who called the father of genetics explained the genetics first in his mono hybrid technique he selected pea plant in which he seen different heights flower position in different flower color is different pod shape and pods color seed shape and seed color so that he seen lot of variations in the same plant and he conducted mono hybrid technique first he selected a tall plant this is tall plant as a parent one crossed with dwarf plant dwarf plant means short plant small t small t so both the parents are homozygous so the homo zygous parent homozygous parent means both the genes are same capital t capital t or small t small t they should be identical this parent can produce capital t type of gamete and also another gamete is also capital t so gametes are identical then the parent is called homozygous if gametes are different then it is called heterozygous pair and here small t is one type of gamete and that parent can also produce another gamete that is also small t both gametes are identical in that case that parent is also homozygous so that homo zygous parent the parent gametes can be fused this gamete have a chance to fuse with this this gamete also have a chance to fuse with this likewise this gamete can fuse with these two gametes in the probability in the fusion of this gamete and this gamete a variety will come that is capital t and small t which you cannot see in their parent suppose if it is a father if it is a mother father is tall in that capital t capital t is there capital t small t is not there but a child has capital t small t new variety because one gene is coming from father another gene is coming from mother both the combination gives trait trait is nothing but variation in the character suppose character is a height variation trait uh, dwarf trait tall trait and if you calculate all four comes in the same genotype so their genotype genotype is same that is capital t small t but capital t capital t is there then there is tall small t small t is there there is dwarf here capital t and small t combination is different which you never see in their parent then what its phenotype tall all plants are tall reason capital t is a dominator the small t here also capital t is dominator the small t that is why in the f1 f1 means filial one filial means generation filial is a term in latin language as biology born in latin so many terms will be used from latin language we can call up first generation in the first generation all are all plants means all plants are resembling one of the parent that will be father then genotypes we cannot see the plant looked very tall but inside the genes capital t capital t or capital t small t we cannot see right so selfing of f1 cross pollination self pollination of any of these two now these this uh, generation members will be act as parents 
So capital T, small t. If you take another parent also, similar. So now crossing between two heterozygous. These two parents are act as homozygous. These parents are heterozygous. Why I called them heterozygous parents? I will tell you. They produce gametes. One is capital T, another one is small t. But they produce same type of gametes as they have. But they produce different types of gametes as they have. When a parent is producing two different types of gametes, they are called heterozygous. Here, if you observe, capital T will come and small t type of gamete will come. We have to circle only gametes, not the individuals or parents. Gametes should be circled. Likewise, just just to see the chances, this gamete may fuse with this. Also, have a chances to fuse with this. No any other probability. The same. Like this thing also may be explained by Punnett square. Punnett is the scientist who given a simple strategic part to cross the parents their gametes. Here, if you take these two, capital T and small t of the parent one, parent two is also capital T and small t. If you cross capital T, capital T will come. Capital T, small t will come. Capital T, small t will come. Small t, small t will come. Or you can also do in this way. Capital T, capital T, capital T, small t. Capital T, small t, and small t, small t. According to their genotypes, what is the visible one? Nothing but phenotype. This is tall. This is tall, like their parent, heterozygous tall. This is also tall, but this is dwarf. These individuals are called F2 or second generation. In the F2. Genotype ratio is different. Phenotype ratio is different. Phenotype means no deke. No deke is to tall sida hai. No deke is to dwarf sida hai. This is a tall. This is a tall. This is a tall. Three talls are there. Is to one dwarf is there. So the one. Three is to one is the phenotypic ratio. In multiple choice question, they will ask you what is the phenotypic ratio of monohybrid cross of Mendel's genetics or inheritance? Answer would be three is to one, not one is to three. Why? Because the dominant character here is tall. First, tall will come. Recessive character, less character will come second. You don't assume that one is to three will be the answer. Now go ahead. 3 is to 1 will be the answer. Secondly, what is the genotypic ratio? No day ke more tall se dawe. More tall se li. Idu pure tall. Idu <coughs> hybrid talls. So, 1 is pure tall. 2 are hybrid talls. And 1 is dwarf. So, the 1 is to 2 is to 1 is genotypic ratio. 3 is to 1 is phenotypic ratio. In the question, you have to observe that whether they are asking genotypic ratio or phenotypic ratio. In case of genotypic ratio, answer is one is to two is to one. It's nothing but p square plus two p q plus q square. That is equal to p plus q whole square or a plus b whole square. As Mendel is mathematician initially. Later, he concluded a lot of things in the biology by using algebraic equations. That is also he applied in genetics. That's why right. initial time Mendel proposals was not accepted by any biological scientists. But finally, he became a father of genetics. So phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio of F2. I will give you a typical question of answer. What is the phenotypic ratio of F1? Phenotypic. No deke ella talls da hai. So that one is to one is to one is to one. If they ask F1 phenotypic ratio, if they doesn't mention in the question F1, then answer will be final. 
we have to do. If they ask f1 genotypic ratio, they also 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. In case of f1, phenotypic ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. Genotypic ratio is also 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. Once you understand the concept like this, you can attack one more questions, two more questions, or three more questions, and also multiple choice questions. This is how conceptual con uh, learning will be important for the student to crack TV exams marks, also multiple choice examination marks like uh, future uh, polytechnics, uh, what do call Muraji and uh, future NEET, JE, CET, any kind of entrance examination. You will have a conceptual questions, not theory questions. So, understand the concepts and logics and do it. In the next session, I will discuss dihybrid cross and their ratios. Thank you.